Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is going to be my 38 week update as well as what's in my hospital bag. I have two different hospital bags. One of them has everything for Saul, the baby and I, and then the other ones like our electronics and snacks. So I'll go through and show you guys all that, but I wanted to start off with my 38 week update. So today is Thursday, I'm not officially 38 weeks till Friday, which is when you are seeing this video. And today we had our doctor's appointment. Um, I am up 35 pounds from what I originally started, which that number is not important as long as I know, I, then that's fine with me. But this is just for me to look back on and see what is probably going to be different about my next pregnancy and like the future, like way three, four years from now future. Um, so I'm up 35 pounds, which my doctor says is good. She doesn't want me to be um, gain more weight than how many weeks I am, if that makes sense. I was really, really worried that I would be like 50, 60 pounds for my first pregnancy. And because I am small, this weight is already enough pressure that it's like really hard to deal with. I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm out of breath. But I am also a little nasally clogged up, so that's probably contributing to it. So I couldn't imagine being me and my like body and being like 60, 70 pounds during pregnancy. I already think I've gained too much weight. But I mean, it's my first pregnancy. You learn what to do for the next time. Like I said, four years, three, four years down the road. But so. I'm really happy with where I'm at weight wise. That's that. But moving on, um, I got checked to see if I was dilated at all. And honestly, I didn't think I would be. Um, so and I were kind of so not trying to get our hopes up. But yesterday I did lose my mucus plug. Um, I've been losing it like sporadically for the last week and a half, almost two weeks actually. No, yeah, it's almost been two weeks since I've started losing like bits and pieces, but yesterday I actually lost like a full big glob of mucus, which is probably TMI, but if you're pregnant or if, um, you already had a baby, then you know how this goes. Um, so I actually did lose that yesterday, so I was like, oh my god, like, what's gonna happen now? Like, she can come anytime, like for a week or two, like they say, or it could be another month, but I already figured since I'd started losing it, she would, it would be like a few weeks. So um, I got checked and I told her I lost my mucus plug. So when she checked, she said I'm a centimeter and a half dilated and 50% effaced. So dilation is like the spreading of the cervix. I think it's the cervix. I'm not sure. I'm not really, <laughs> I don't really know. I could totally be wrong, so don't listen to me. But I know what effacement is. Effacement is the thinning of the cervix. I'm making good progress. And once Saul heard that, <laughs> and after the doctor left, he was like, okay, we're going on walks every day now. Like, we're going to get this baby out. Um, because he's predicted that I will go into labor this weekend, which he might not be too far off. I think either this weekend or next week. But... The doctor said if I do make it to my due date, I am most likely to be pushing out an eight pound baby, which terrifies me so, so much. This baby already has a big head and to be pushing out an eight pounder is just so scary for me for my first time. So I'm hoping she comes a little bit earlier, like sometime like this weekend or like next week, as long as it's not the fourth or the fifth. We're gonna try and get some things moving along here with labor and hopefully something happens. If not, and I make it to my due date, that's awesome too. But I'm just really ready to have this baby and I just want her to come out already. I'm at the point where everything's just super uncomfortable. Um, like I said, I don't know if I said this actually, but I'm feeling a lot of pressure just as of today, after she, after my OBGYN checked me, I've been feeling a lot more crampy, but I think that's just because she checked me. So we will see how things progress in the next few days or so. So 
that is my little 38 week update. I'm excited. I'm really happy that when I got checked there was something to be checked and that I am dilated. But it was weird because she was like, oh, I can feel the baby's head. And I'm just like, that is so weird, but whatever. Now I'm going to move on to what's in my hospital bag. This is my hospital bag. Got it from Target. And it is, it was like 20 bucks. Honestly, so cheap. So I'm just going to show you guys what is in here. First things first, I have a folder that has all the documents that I need to take when I get admitted. So I have my labor preference worksheet, which is pretty much just my birth plan, and then my um, other admission papers. Um, I don't know if all offices do this, but my office had me send a pre-admission record form. So basically when I check in, they have most of my information um, already, so it's just easier for me to check in, and then this is just something I give to them. Um, as well so I have that in there in this folder just so I can keep everything nice and organized um, the next thing I have in there is this belly bandit um, this is supposed to help postpartum so you just wrap it around your stomach to help you know kind of tighten everything back up or get your belly back um, I don't know how well this works but I've heard a lot of women use it postpartum especially c-section moms um, I don't really know what's gonna happen. Anything can happen. I mean, I, I would like to deliver vaginally. <laughs> Is that weird to say on here? But I would like to deliver vaginally, but if I need a C-section, then I'm obviously gonna have to get a C-section. But I just thought I'd buy this and try it out and see if it actually does work and if it will help. So, yeah. Next I have our toiletries and some makeup wipes so we just got these little travel kits from target so this one is for Saul I doubt he'll need a razor but it, I mean whatever he needs is in here then I have this one for me and I added some of my own hair ties and my face wash in here um, I don't really know if we're gonna how long we're gonna be there if we're gonna need to shower or any of that um, but it's always good to have that, especially like toothbrush, toothpaste. I doubt I will be the one brushing my teeth and stuff. Just because if I'm in labor for a long time and I get like an epidural or, you know, just anything, then I doubt I'm going to be the one getting up and walking to the bathroom to go brush my teeth. And that's fine. And then I also have makeup wipes because who knows how long I'll be in labor. Who knows when I'm going to go into labor. What if I have makeup on and, you know... I just brought some wipes. These are the simple micellar makeup remover wipes. Um, so this is gently cleanses and instantly hydrates. I've never used these ones, but I do like their micellar water. So I just packed that. So that's it for our toiletries. I haven't packed my slippers yet because I am currently wearing them because they're so comfortable and they keep my feet warm on our hardwood tiles. So I haven't packed my slippers yet. Sowell hasn't packed his, but that's not that big of a deal. We do have shower shoes. Mine were like $2 at Target. I think his were like $5. Um, so it's just, just in case we do shower. I don't know. I've seen and heard a lot of things. Like some people don't even use a shower. Some people don't even go into their hospital bag. So that's why I don't have just a bag for me and a separate bag for Saul and a separate bag for the baby. I kind of have everything all packed into one bag just so we have them. Um, so I'm going to show you what I personally packed for myself. So I packed socks. My feet do get cold, but if I get too hot, I end up taking them off. But I just packed three pairs of socks. Um, I packed a tank top and some yoga pants. This is like an outfit possibility for after delivery like when I go home um, and then I also have another outfit just in case I want something a little bit looser so I have like these two shirts that are a little bit looser and then some more yoga pants I really don't know why I have two separate outfits in here I I know I'm not gonna wear them then of course I packed some nursing bras 
just in case um, I decide to put a bra on. But my sister-in-law or my soon-to-be sister-in-law said she just stayed in her robe, so I might just stay in my robe. And then I don't know if I'm actually going to need these at the hospital, but I did pack some um, postpartum underwear just in case for myself just so I have them. Moving on to Suffer Sowell, he has some shorts just so he is comfortable. Um, he has socks, he has change of underwear, he has like a nice shirt because he wants to look nice for when we take pictures. So I'm just going to be in there in my little birthing robe and he's going to look all cute and handsome. And then he has another shirt, I think this is a long sleeve for like sleep time and then he has some sweats so he's comfortable. We really don't know how long labor can take. Um, both of my sister-in-laws had two totally different pregnancies from each other or two totally different births. Um, one of them was in labor for 12 hours start to finish like from when she got her contractions to when she finally delivered the baby. It was 12 hours in total and then I had my other sister-in-law who had to be induced at almost 42 weeks and she was in labor for three days. So I don't know how long mine's going to be. We'll see. But I just want to make sure Saul is as comfortable as possible because he thinks we're just going to be in and out real quick and I'm like, I don't think that's going to happen, but you know, it could happen. So now moving on to stuff for baby, um, I know realistically she's just going to stay in whatever the hospital puts her in, but I just brought a couple different options, um, you know, just to have. So I brought some socks for her, some little socks, and then some mittens. I've heard some things about mittens though that most doctors, or not even doctors, but like the lady from my Lamaze class and my breastfeeding slash getting ready for baby class they said they despise mittens because they like it when the babies you know kind of find their fingers and people use mittens because their nails are long but they said just cut them or like file them down so I just brought these because I don't know if it's going to be cold and I don't want her little hands to get cold I have this first outfit that I want for when we like, you know, post her picture on social media. Um, I don't know why is that pink, but it has her name on it, so that's how we spell it. And I got this from um, this Instagram shop. It's called Trend. I think it's called Trendy Treehouse. I'll have it linked down below. Um, they have like cute stuff where you can personalize it, and it's just really cute. And then I just got these cute little purpley pink pants to go with it. I don't know if you can see that. But so that's that little outfit just for pictures. We have a couple different hats just because I know the hospital provides them but we don't know what outfit we're going to take her home in which is what I'm going to show you next. So we have different options for hats and then so this is option one if she's like kind of tiny because um, this is a newborn but I had someone that I went to high school with and she said her babies were eight pounds and they fit into newborn clothes so that that's kind of nice and reassuring. So this is what Saul picked out. It says daddy's princess has arrived. It's just gonna go with these little pink pants that have the ruffle bottom because I love ruffle bottoms. So that is the first outfit if she hopefully fits in it. I hope she does. It's really cute and so I was really really excited about it. He said he'd be pretty bummed if she didn't fit into it. If that doesn't work out then we have this one and it's just really cute. It's um a jumpsuit romper thing I don't know it's long sleeve and it just says love over it and it's nice and cozy because it's kind of cold here in San Diego which is surprising but it is winter time so yeah so that is what I have in this hospital bag 
I'm not really going to show you the other bag. I'll just tell you what I packed in it. I packed our camera, an iPad, my headphones for when I am in labor and I want to listen to my music. And then we're going to pack my laptop in there. I think we're having, I think we have our vlog camera that we're bringing as well to get um, footage of the birth, which is probably weird, but I want to have like a video memory of it. Um, so we have that and then we have all our chargers for all that and extra batteries and then we also packed some snacks so I packed like popcorn, Sal Licks protein bars so I have protein bars in there, I have almonds in there, both regular almonds and chocolate almonds and then we are going or I'm going to put some cash in there if someone wants to get something from the vending machine or the cafeteria then there's cash in there um so and we're just taking a backpack so we have this bag which is now empty and a backpack and that's all we're going to take and i think my purse so that is it for what i have in my hospital bags i feel very prepared and what i have some people might think it's not enough or too much but i think it's the perfect amount normally i'm a huge overpacker i probably would have had like three different bags for all of us but I decided to keep it to one because I had to be realistic with that I'm probably not going to change out of my hospital robe and I'm probably just going to use whatever the hospital provides me with for however long we're in the hospital and that my outfit will most likely just be for when we go home so I'm very proud of myself for that because I am the hugest like the world's biggest overpacker I think most women are but I kept it very minimal this time and I'm very very proud of myself but I feel very prepared I'm so ready for this little girl to come I think she's gonna come pretty soon I hope she comes soon I'm just these last few weeks of being pregnant just are not that great and it feels like my first trimester all over again I'm just tired all the time but I'm making it through. I'm trekking. I'm I'm going to make it. We're going to we're going to make it through. Everything's good. The baby's healthy. I'm healthy except I'm getting a little sick, but other than that, um I will probably not be posting a video until she is born um or if I make it to my due date, then I will probably post a video then. But like I said, I think I feel like she's gonna come sooner than later so we will see but if you don't follow me on social media then you should definitely do that I will have all my social media handles down below um, and that's probably where you'll most likely get the update about the baby so thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in my next video. I don't know if I'll be pregnant or not, but I will see you there. Bye!